All right, starting off exactly where we left off before. All I really did was edit and make that video while I waited out the period of lag. And check this out. Oops. The lag is over. The prayer stays on. And yes, you can test this with any prayer level on any account, but uh, let's get back over to the Dead Man Tournament world and get some Barrow's Chess in. Alright, chess number 317 coming in with the Aram's Robe Skirt. Let's pick that up and get out of here. That is awesome loot. That is the second one. Those are really good. Alright, coming in with another strong loot, the Carol's Crossbow. And now a skeleton hit me and I can't teleport. Well guys, coming in with a back-to-back -back piece. Using up these tabs, but that's okay because I'm running stuff to the bank. There is a Varex Helm. My opinion, the best in slot helmet in the game because of the prayer bonus and the similar stats to other Barrow's armor. Some people say that Darok is better because it has a slightly higher range defense bonus. However, I think that prayer bonus makes up for that in the long run because you can't really prayer flick in a tribrid fight. So that prayer bonus is extremely valuable. Well, 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 the luck just keeps on getting better and better. V helmet number two. So let's go put that in the safe box as well. These items are coming in strong. Alright, coming in with another final chest of the inventory. There's PKers about, so I want to watch my supplies a little bit and make sure I'm not too low while I'm running around out there. I'm just getting the kill count a little bit while I'm clearing the room out so that I can teleport freely once I loot the chest. And I think I've pulled aggro. Let's loot it. And, well, nothing special that time. I feel like I'm about to enter another dry streak. But, hey, if we go for that 420 KC, we should get another couple of items within that time. Well, less than 24 hours to go until the final hour begins. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the final hour or if I'm gonna compete in it at all I might just pass off the gear I collected and uh, call it a day because I'm actually pretty sick right now I don't want to go into details but let's just say stomach problems yesterday it was head problems headache and probably mostly due to sleep deprivation and stress today is more of like flu-like symptoms so I think I'm coming down with a little bit of something alright coming in with another loot look at this barracks helmet number three let's go toss that in the safe box alright there's another mysterious emblem tier 5 and let's loot this chest too bad there's nothing interesting in that to match it but Still cool nonetheless. I've got three of those in the bank now. Alright, coming in with level 97 magic and the last chest of this inventory, following the kill of the skeleton so that I can teleport out. Some free loot. And I think I'm good. Alright, some wines of Zamorak. Let's go cash in this emblem. I actually have three of them. Pretty sure they're starting to risk now, so. Let's take a look at the Bounty Hunter points. Also, Milestone Chest coming up next chest. Alright, getting some of that tank armor back, it looks like. There's a Torag's Plate Body. That's one of the best in slot tank pieces in the game. Sweet. Alright, heading over to the Bounty Hunter shop. I should have probably brought an instant teleport with me, but oh well. Let's see if we can exchange some of these emblems for some points. Oh dear, there's a loot pile. Mm, sketchy stuff. Hmm. 
something is 4.5 mil, 10 mil points total. All right, coming in with another high value loot. It is V skirt number two, kill count 359, first chest back. I can't even continue to do runs because I keep getting items and having to bank. Like, look at this inventory setup. I'm ready for like 10 runs and I <laughs> get another item. I mean, that's a good complaint to have, I think. So, there's a staff. Uh, when the safe box is full of borrows items, I'll have to show you guys what it looks like all together. It's starting to look pretty nice in there. Alright, guys, we're going to call that the day right there because I am tired starting to make mistakes. So, I'm going to take a nap and do some more of this before the final hour hits. Alright, good morning guys. Today is the day of the final hour. We're doing some last minute barrows. I just pulled myself a nice little set of Darok legs. I'm gonna go pass this into the clan and do some more barrows, see what more items we can get, see if we can hit that 420 chest goal, getting closer. It's looking like a possibility. We're at 300 and 89 barrels chest this tournament so far. Way more than what I normally do. Alright, coming in with some Torag's legs. Really good tank legs. That is an awesome chest. Up to 397, getting close to that 420 goal. Only a couple hours to the final. I think I'll hit it. If not, it's going to be damn close. Alright, I missed the recording because I forgot to put my game on filtered there to not expose anyone's names but up to 400 chests about to cash in this tier 5 for some axes for the clan and let's go for at least 20 more chests if I go over 420 that's okay but the goal is 420 barrows chests for weed blazers probably sick of hearing me say that depending on how many times I deleted myself saying that because of random things happening. Alright guys, coming in with what looks like to be a donation here. Coming in from Lapraz Man, he's given me a Torag's helmet. Thank you man. I'm gonna use that myself for the final since that is a donation rather than giving that to the clan. So, thank you, I appreciate that. Alright guys, coming in with another donation from Gamble Boy. Oh wow, coming in with a whip, Carol's Coif, Carol's Crossbow, G Maul, Ruin, Climbing Boots, Black Dehyde. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Thank you, man. That is very much appreciated. Oh, he he says wait. I'm gonna wait a sec and see if anything else happens. But that is fantastic let's see what else is in here oh wow black uh, wow full Darok ruined boots and a black mask wow that is a sick donation man thank you so much that is amazing all right thank you gamble boy that is awesome and a dragon wood cutting axe that's got to be super rare that is great. And another 60 brews from Campbell, Gamble Boy. Thank you very much, man. Stuttered there, had a cigarette in my mouth. Sorry about that. Thank you, Gamble Boy. I appreciate that. All right, coming in with another nice loot of Torag's legs. I believe that's my second set. And we're getting close to 420 Barrow's chests. The clan is pretty much set on armor, but hey everyone can use a little bit of something extra just in case so let's go hand this over and do two more chests and then I'm gonna have a short snack and prepare for the final alright in the moment that I've been striving for since the beginning of the tournament here we go with chest number a rim crap I forgot I had to kill a rim uh, let's finish this real quick I'm not even going to prayer flick because I got some extra prayer pots that I actually looted off the ground. So, last chest, screw it. Don't really need the supplies anyway. And then let's prepare for the final hour. I still don't know how I'm going to divide up 
this video with the other one. Oh, there's some supplies. Now people need blood runes and death runes, so that is awesome. All right, chest number 420. What are we going to get? Take your guesses. Another Dirac Axe. The lucky number 420 chest. We did get an item. That just tops off everything. Actually getting an item on chest number 420. All right, 420 Byro's chest complete for the clan Weed Blazers. Got a whip donation. I'm about to toss on my helm donation and my full Darak. I might actually give the Torag helm away since I've got the full Darak now, but still, thank you, Laprazman, for that Torag helmet. That does still help the clan, even though I'm going to be wearing a Darak helmet. It's just that I'm going to be using the Darak for the final hour. But thank you for the donation, man. Much appreciated. That Torag Helm does help us quite a bit. One last quick look at the Barrows gear that we've got. We've got the all of these items here were given away to the clan. I am going to keep the Carol's Coif and the Carol's Crossbow for the final hour along with the full Darak, which is in the safety box here. And Quite a few sets, basically full Arams, full Carols, full Darak, full Varex for all intents and purposes. I know the Breast Art isn't here, but there is no Flail. And full Toregs without hammers. So I don't really know what more there is to ask for. Also, full Guthans without the chain skirt. I basically got every Barrow's piece this run that's useful, and I didn't get an Aram's hood, and I didn't get Toreg hammers. So my RNG was on par. I even got a double chest. Unfortunately, I lost that clip because of the power outage, along with a bunch of other clips. But hey, decent time. All right, we're getting ready for the start of the final hour. It is the beginning of the end again, and I just drank a brew instead of switching, and I did it twice. Wow, I need to practice that a little bit more. Oh, that was embarrassing. All right, um, yeah, so I got these switches. There we go. <laughs> and also the K-Bow and the Axe because I don't have a Rune Crossbow or the level for Broad Bolts. But I've got a Granite Shield so as soon as I'm down a spot I'll be able to switch the K-Bow as soon as I eat a Mana Ray or drop a Vial or something like that. And in case you're wondering why what is in my inventory, I've got my melee set up with me in case I get into a fight on the way to the final location and then the range for the crossbow once we're at the final it's going to be pretty much all range going to have to put that on defensive i've got the stamina potion because i've had times where stamina pot has saved my life i've always brought one and it seems to do quite well honestly having a stamp pot with you in the final hour the rest is all sand fuse all brews and four mana rays for some emergency combo eats so hopefully this works out well oh i almost forgot i have a rune pouch with telegrab runes in it i think 180 telegrabs should be enough let's not accidentally teleport to camelot at some point how my clicks are out of practice. There we go. All right. So I'll see you guys when the final begins. And I do not have permission to record any of the voice that happens. So you will be watching voiceover commentary which should make the editing go a little bit easier on my part because I can concentrate more on the game itself rather than commentary doing game and commentary is a little bit distracting but at any rate 
Let's uh, heal up that. Grab some fresh ones. And yeah, we're all good to go. Thank you.